Wow, here we are again, folks. This is Brother Peter with Tidbits from the Word. And uh, this is a supposedly a minister, but I'm going to do my daily Bible reading on the YouTube or on the computer as I do it daily, according to how it's called. So as I read through this year, I will be reading through on the YouTube the Bible. And if you want to look at it, you may, and you may follow on. And what I would do is I would get a book, a Bible, and I would get a marker, and I would underline that, and I would follow through with it, and then I can go back and look at what I did at the end of the year, and I can say, hey, somebody says to me, have you read the Bible through? Yes, sir. Can you prove it? Yes, I can. I got it marked. <laughs> I got some marked with pencil, some marked with pen, some marked with uh, ink, some marked with uh, markers. And so, but here I go. I'm going to read 56 verses straight through. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light, and it was good. And God said, He divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness He called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day, and God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters from the waters and the firmament of the waters which was above the firmament and it was so and God called the firmament heaven and in the evening and the morning were the second day and God said let the waters under them Heaven be gathered together under the places, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and he gathered together the waters, and called them he seas. And God saw that it was good, and God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding after its kind, whose seed is after upon the earth, and it was so. And God this earth brought forth grass and herb seed after its kind, and the tree yielding, whose seed was in itself after its kind, and God saw that it was good in the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let there be a sign from the seasons and for the days and years, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven and give light upon the earth. And and it was so, and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and they, to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good in the evening and the morning with the third fourth day excuse me God said let the waters bring forth abundantly moving creatures that have life and the fowls and that fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven and God created great whales and every living creature that moveth which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the fowls multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures after their kind, cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth after their kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind and every creeping thing upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our own image. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over the cattle, over the earth, over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created men in his own image. In the image of God created he male and female, created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth and every tree in which is a fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for me and to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth 
upon the earth wherein there is life I have given every green herb for meat and it was so and God saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good and the evening and the morning were the sixth day imagine that God saying that was very good and so here we are in chapter 2 Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that was the day that he rested from all his work, which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field before it was the earth earth and every herb of the field uh, before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground but there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground and the Lord formed man out of the dust of the earth and breathed in his nostrils a breath of life and man became a living soul and the Lord God planted a garden in the east of Eden and there he put the man whom he had formed and out of the ground made he made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to sight and good for food and the tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil and a river went out from Eden, of Eden, not from, but of Eden, to water the garden. And from thence it was parted and became four heads. And from the first was Pison, that is, which compasseth the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is Bedlam and Onyx stones. And uh, the name of the second river was Gion. And the same is uh, that which compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hedekel, uh, which is uh, goeth toward the east now. This is toward Assyria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And the Lord God took a man and put him in the garden of Eden and dressed it and it kept it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmate for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all the cattle, to all the fowls of the air, to every beast of the field. And in Adam there was not found a helpmate for him, me. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to come and fell upon Adam. And, and he slept and took one of his ribs and closed it up the flesh instead thereof and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto Adam wow and Adam said this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh and they were both naked and the man and his wife and were not ashamed that's the end of our 56 verses we did that in approximately uh, 9 minutes and 20 seconds <clears throat> and so we're going to read through this year and we're going to try to do it in these mini serps if we can if we we maintain this uh, speed of reading and uh, the amount of verses per time we can do it we will see you next time bye bye